Sorry. It's all good, man. I had it turned on from Raid this morning. That, that stuff is really important. <laughs> Where are you guys? I'm following Hexabells, but there's nobody here but she and I. All the way up by the way, song, song standing underneath um, Malik. And someone who has no idea what you're talking about. Can um, I click for um, Re Revan? Oh, wait. Thanks, guys. I think Revan's the last one. Alright, now I found you. Welcome to an official CTR Guild Throne of Thunder Mount Run! This event is hosted by Wares, one of our wonderful oh, yeah, event planners, and I'm really, really looking forward to this one. He is a great like um, event planner. A lot of fun. That body will follow Cuddle's lead. Is there anything we need to know about this fight? Malik, he's just gonna go down extremely fast. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna pull now. I'm gonna pull now. Um. Like I said, if a mountain drops us, if you don't have it, need. If there's something you want, need. Otherwise, you know, if a pet drops, you can need on it. If you don't have it, transmog gear drops. If you want it, need on it. Otherwise, it's um, pre roll and everything. Oh, yeah, the world bosses are personal loot or whatever, right? Yeah. Okay. I was about to say, I can't loot them. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get anything at all. I got gold. Yeah, I got 22 gold. I got 20 gold. Don't spend that all in one place. <laughs> okay, Ray should be set up for 25 man normal. We can go ahead and zone in. And like I said, I'm gonna let Cuddles be the main tank, so we're gonna follow his sleeve. But everything in here should pretty much be uh, tank and spank for as many people we have. Can I get assist or lead so I can do a pull timer on the big guys? Yeah, hold on one second here. I mean, we don't have to, but. You got assist. Hey, sir. I know nothing about this, so I'm gonna run up and hit him a lot. Five, yeah, he'll die before he dies. Three, three, two, thing. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
the first like five bosses are like this, right? Like, they're not truly mechanic wise. It's not until you get further in that you have to worry about Dark Animus is the closest one that probably could give us a problem. Yes. But uh, from what I've seen, when we last time we did them in normal, we dropped them so quick it was kind of hilarious. Awesome. I haven't tried it on normal yet, so I'm kind of excited. Woo! Same way with the guy that's got the eye that has the beans that come out. He just drops pretty fast nowadays. He doesn't even go through a phase change. Just stay away from the guys that's inside the little beans that will knock you off this platform when you're running in. Yeah, Chai, yeah. need for trans. Yeah, also, you can need on um, transmog gear if you want it. Also, if you die um, towards the end, can't we res you with mass res or is it too far? What did you say to do not to, to avoid getting blown off? Uh, don't touch the yellow, the, the ones that's got the blue ring around them. Yeah, if you get hit by that blue ring, you're gonna get knocked off. Are we running all the way to the other end? Yeah, you just okay. run across, you have yeah. to avoid the... I just remember, like, doing it where we did, I guess, half of it here and then the other half the other side. Yeah, once we get all the way through and kill the next boss, the wind disappears. I never was very good at this. But yeah, if if you die, I'm pretty sure we can we can res you if if you want to stay down um, at the end. But I don't this know about a... right at the beginning or not. If you. This could be a very expensive bridge. Yeah. It's worse than the uh, elevator boss in Blackwing Descent. No, it's not. <laughs> mm. They really should have the, like, Wicked Witch from the uh, West music from, like, uh... Wizard of the Oz playing when these things are chasing you. The wind. <laughs> yeah. Well, it should just be the music from the tornado scene the entire time in this area. A little bit lower there in volume, but here you go. So it should just be the uh, Wizard of Oz uh, tornado scene music right here, this entire area. Just go with Friend of the Valkyries. <laughs> or have an NPC load out, say something on like you're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, that's Karazhan. Okay, this guy can drop them out, so keep your eyes out. Fingers crossed. Can we ready check it, make sure everybody got across the bridge? I see people still running in. Yeah, they were some, but still back there. Two more. Uh. 
Okay, yeah, I think I see everybody in. This already check's gonna be for the poll. I'm not gonna do this every boss, but you know, in case somebody's laying at the bottom of a pit somewhere. Are we just gonna burn them faster? Yeah, we're just gonna burn fast if the mountain drops. to lust on each one of these bosses because it does reset, correct? Or no? Smoke beast, bro. Oh, you're a bear druid. Love bear druids. I was just making sure you weren't our hunter. <laughs> That's awesome. I've only killed that boss three times now. I've only been in TOT three times. <laughs> the number is like quadrupled in Dragon Soul though, because that's whenever I used to really raid. The Dracari man. to get exalted with Sandalar, so this is kind of like a kick in the teeth. Yeah, uh, living sandlings can't draw pits. The trash in here. Earlier today, my, uh, my heroic team ran normal BRF to get some gear for a new guy, and how easy that was in, like, full heroic and now some Hellfire gear was just, it made me feel so bad. Everybody have a good and happy and safe fourth. Nobody lose any fingers. Still intact. Ooh, pet. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's a need on the pet. Yeah, need if, if you, you don't, don't have. have. Or it doesn't matter. If you don't have. Okay, I don't have. Oh my god! Congrats! Go, go breath! Oh, wait a minute, didn't I say I it was Master Loot? <laughs> Stinker. Pull everything. Yeah, if there's ever more stuff we can pull and it's not going to kill us, you guys go right on ahead. Um, Cuddles has not... Like, I, I didn't do this at level, so I don't know what's, like, big and nasty and we should actually worry about, which is probably nothing. Yeah, well... Uh, you only have to run pull something that might take a little concentration. Yeah, if they're shouting at us, or have a name, that's probably something to at least consider. This one, I think you um, basically want to burn down the guy that is going to be stealth or prayed out. <clears throat> Are we just going to stack them all in AoE? We can do that too. Maybe we get an achievement if yeah. nothing leaves the center ring. Five, oh, that's good. Let's four, do that. Three, so everyone get in the middle? Two, one. Yeah, everybody come to the middle. It's actually this big ring, so I don't know if he stepped out or stayed in. I believe I that's what it was. I someone that was like barely on the ring, so I, I don't know. It's a matter of if they decide if that's outside or not. <laughs> so if everybody gets in the middle, we, he won't charge out. Pretty lightning, Kitty Chai. All right, let's see if there's anything. Cool robe. It is. Lady Chai in here? Just thinking the same thing. Mouse my, uh, I'm gonna go make a <coughs> My mouse arrow kind of disappear. I can't click. No. Or yeah, I can't cancel. Not, it's not allowed. You know? It's like they never fix it. Or they want me to see it. They like, broke it. I guess otherwise you'd just be standing on the ground and be very confused. That wasn't fair. I don't know what the achievement is here. It's you gotta you gotta kick multiple turtles through. It's it's not fun. Uh, We've yeah, done it we in achievement club. It's not worth trying unless everybody really wants it. Yeah, normally they will normally assign one two kickers for the turtles, and everybody else just focuses on tortoise. These bats were such a pain when this was current. Yeah, no joke. Portals can be a little bit of a pain in the war at most still.
Oh, there's a face point. I believe that can be interrupted, can it not? It should be. But it has to be like a physical interrupt. Don't mind, our matter is getting like correct. I don't think we needed an interrupt. Next time I'm bringing my hunter. <coughs> Out at one wing, aren't you su supposed to be a hunter? Rock <laughs> though. <laughs> Out on bringing in non guild characters. I love these fireworks. Far. You always had a couple of people that died in this area because they wouldn't know how to follow. Killing people that died in this area because everybody assumed that nobody was going to pull, even though every time somebody pulled you. They're so pesky. I'm gonna starfall. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think we missed one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta keep one alive so they don't go extinct. Have to throw the small ones back.
This box freaks me out for some reason. Yeah, but at least there's only three in work mode where I have four heads. Five, four, three. I can't count. One. Ignore that full timer. Pre pots. Well, that was easy. This is over. We have to kill these all at the same time or something? No. No, you just keep running back and forth from the um, red to green, red to green, and eventually they all die. There used to be a mechanic for this. <laughs> yeah, it used to run, I think, from the green. You started off the green, then you run all the way over to the fire guy, then back to the poison guy, and you just hit it back and forth. So always skipped over the guy in the middle. Oh, we broke it. Doing anything in particular here, or just killing everything? Just keep doing it until... Keep yeah, I know. It takes like a eight or nine total or something. Like that. Maybe it's seven. His rage keeps on subsiding, but he doesn't seem to have it very well under control. This had to be a pain at level. Yeah. <laughs> For every one of these heads you kill, Lajero gets a little bit weaker each time. It was just tough on your healers. Yeah, with that rampage that could went off. Yeah, that's the arc. Dormu, or whatever his name is, that was a pain. I planned on not moving for this fight, and I'm not moving even though I'm standing in fire. So, just leave me alone. Woohoo! Oh, hey, where's the loot? This box is so small and unassuming. that you don't stand in front of the snails but they will still one shot you. <laughs> they yeah, will they don't do damage, damage, they just kill you.
and I'll run across the stuff in gold or traps. you leave because you were just taking your own advice. <laughs> I hate these things. Now this is a really cool looking place. It is. Now whoever is fit say they're falling, you probably want to stay away from oh, the snake. Oh, dadgummit! I was going to sneak around him. That did not work. <laughs> yeah, this was a good looking <clears throat> Yeah, the snail will fit say on you, and he's going to go right where you're at. Thank you, Rez. If you want it, you can. I, I feel bad. I've won a lot on, on transmog girls. Then take it. Out. Take it. Yeah. Hey, come it. over and if find me. Eating, I just nobody wants it. Take it. Yeah, find me and open up a trade window. I'll give it to you. I think I can. Yeah, I would say at this point nobody needs anything in here. They're just gonna vendor it if they don't want it for transmog. Can we race to that? All right, what was that called? And or I something, something, something. Abandoned? Yeah, abandoned. Okay, J Con can drop a uh, mount. Also, even though it's not really necessary, probably gonna want at least maybe one, two people to volunteer for the eggs. But we probably can down him without even having to worry about the eggs. Yeah. It I think I almost did it on heroic at level. I think we were doing it at level without any eggs by the end of the tier. If somebody wants to try to grab the golden egg, go Five, for it. Four, three, two, one. But I don't know if it'll be up that long. So quick, no wheels.
you just jump off? Great, uh, click, click on the little flag. Oh, I see it. And then you'll have an extra action button. And then you can jump and fly. I don't expect where we need that. And fly to the red S. Is anybody else tired of a standing jungle already? And yes. No comment. It's it's the rep grind, man. Yeah, Blizzard never learns, and nobody likes to do a rep grind. What they do, they put three of them in there that we have to do to get flying. Technically four, because you got to do it for the um. Well, three. I'm just, I'm more tired of the environment in Tannen right now. Like, the people, the, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just ugly. I couldn't imagine if I was still on the PvP server. And then having to go after, you know, the hundred to two hundred stones and runes and stuff like that for your legendary. Which means you got to keep rolling the same dungeons over and over and over and actually... <coughs> Very boring. Um, we need to get out of mid, right after after this part. We're just pulling on. Yeah, if this guy has to burn him down so fast that he's not going matter. to go into a phase change. Okay. I mean, Jay Con didn't even go into uh, a phase change, so we can burn him down quick enough. Yeah, Darumu doesn't have a lot of health. I remember. That's good, since I think I still have problems seeing the entry of the maze. Yeah, the maze, after all, I actually watched a YouTube video and eventually I figured it out and I'm able to catch the maze every time now. I have got no problem those little um, white when I'm in the maze, lines. but I just have problem getting into the maze at the right point. Alright, we're cool. Burn balls. I figure it's gonna be three entrances, one close up, one far away, and one in the middle. But a little squiggly arrow to point in a direction that you wanna to wanna to be standing at. That bear tank aggro. I love it. See, he went down so quick, he almost didn't get a chance to do anything. I'm getting a full transmog that I'm gonna have during next raid. Boo I don't think I've ever been this lucky to get so many transmog pieces in one run. Well, the belt that just dropped was like pretty much the only thing in here that I really, really wanted, and I didn't get that. So I'm sad now. So many flavors of salt. And we can pretty much circuit this guy down. We'll have to worry about the raid mechanics. That was a way to do it in TOT, too, really. Spread out and don't do any AoE.
Which meant it was kind of a fail fight, in my opinion. Yeah, if you got a DPS, you just circle them down, otherwise you have to switch tactics and follow the uh, mechanics. Boom. Merka. And of course, everybody's favorite boss is coming out next, Stark Animus. Probably the hardest still to do in here. Do we still have to do mechanics on Dark Animals? Uh, normal mode, I think you can all just burn them down. If you do it at work, you have to follow the mechanics. I've seen us knock them down in like 30 seconds. Give the tanks a couple seconds to go grab everything. Hey, we bomb. This is how you did. <laughs> oh, trash is so oh, easy. He's still nasty. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> Stand up and get you guys. Okay. <coughs> That's pretty funny. Even at level 100, we can, we can still do a face dock. Well, well, next expansion, we'll try that one again. How about that? That's too funny. Sounds like a plan. Well, it's, I think it's the chain. We still need to spread out and, and do a coordinated pull. I think once we burn the little guys, it's just that chain lightning thing that kills everybody. I can't remember what it's called. Because you get them all together and they're all chained and it's just massive damage. Yeah, I think we were all in the center, so they all came towards us instead of running over and filling up the, um, the bigger... Robots, or whatever you want to call them, the masses. <gasps> oh. Um, I never DPS this one. Uh, did you say there was no AOE or? Yeah, don't AOE. Okay, all right. And what you want to do is just pick one of your little anime, one of the small ones, and, and, and burn it down without letting it get close to any others. Okay. The rest will take care of itself. So kill a small one. 
Are we standing on any either side by any? Pretty well spread out. Oh, okay. Because they're gonna, I think like one of them in each group is gonna activate at a time. Five, four, three, two. Looks like we're one. An actual progression team. Yeah, this guy still hits pretty hard. A little transfer thing is going to get some people. Should we still be down in the ad? He's almost dead. Never mind. No son of Animus. I think it's a Tim, man. You can just serve him. What's up this way in this little door that opened? Like there's spiders and stuff up here. I think everybody still goes the wrong That's way in this the one. right way. Yep. Stop okay, the cool. The Facing right the way. right way. <laughs> Are we going to be able to do the um the bonus boss? The... It's a real wrong way. Oh, it is? Bummer. Yep, and unless you have a full raid, it's kind of hard to get past uh, Dark Animus in her work. Yeah. It's doable now with less, but as long as everybody understands it. Yeah, I think we would have failed, I mean. We assumed we could have just face rolled that to begin with, so... Yeah, if, uh, if I knew we had a uh, guaranteed warlock every time we set these things up, we can do the uh, warlock versions. We can just pour it in the ones that haven't cleared the normal... I have a warlock. I don't mind using it if y'all ever need her. Because on Mogishan Vaults, if you do the warlock version, you have a better chance of getting the... Uh, Astral Serpent to drop off of um, Elagon. If you do what first? Uh, if you have a Warlock with you, they can port in people who haven't cleared the normal version. So if you're doing like something like MSV Vaults, um, Elagon can drop a uh, has a higher chance of dropping a, a mount. That confirmed. I don't think it's so much of a difference. I mean, I don't think nobody's really confirmed it, but I always keep hearing that the Quarry version has a better drop rate. I've never seen them, seen a drop regardless. I don't think I've ever done Mojushan Vaults yet. Me either. Yeah, we did it the other day. But that was on Heroic, right? Uh, we did normal, because uh, we had a couple people that hadn't done it, and we didn't have a warlock. Ah. Uh. I was one of the people that hadn't done it. I saw the event, but it said you had to have done normal, so... The first event didn't say that. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, we figured that out. I don't think I was the only one. No, I think most of the people that were there didn't do the year. Five, well, a lot of people are four, playing their alts three, too, and their alts two, haven't been through normal. One.
When your friends break your toys, you don't bring out another one for them to play with. Come on, guy. He, he'll learn. Well, not yet, apparently. This guy used to be hard. Plenty of clothy gear. Ready? Everybody ready? One. This looks giant and ominous. And does nothing? This fight was a total joke. This was the similar mechanics of, um, Dan Black. Four, three. Two, one. Right? Like you. I think you will pretty much just uh, concentrate on this guy when she's up. The sun guy just pops in and out all the time. Mulan, whatever her name is. So most likely the most like the uh, second boss in Endless Springs. So I'm guessing it was kind of required back in the day to click on the little totems on the side. Yeah. It gave you a raid buff. You didn't have to do it. I think the first time we came in here and had a row, it, we killed it when it was current. achievement there. What's this over here? Like With the giant exclamation stuff. point. That's gonna be the, um, there was a weekly quest in TOT that you could get. It was a bonus quest. It's an auto self quest. Okay. So we get to kill this special ad. Sweet. And you get a special bag, spoils of it. Which translates to a bag of junk. <laughs> Woohoo, 
junk. Have quest accepted. <laughs> Hope you did. Yeah, I got I gold. Got thirty gold. Yeah. Got twenty six. Whatever, I'll take that for ten seconds of killing something. I actually got yeah, so twenty nine gold from that than killing now. Do we go up here? I don't know where I'm going. That's the wrong way. Oh, you oh yeah. That's what I get for following people. I got lost in the linear map. I was following <laughs> pedals. Never yeah, follow the panda. Pandas have a swing out the rear. actually flapped during that thing. I'd never seen that before. <laughs> like, <coughs> flying in the air. Pandas have a notoriously bad sense of direction. Now, this fall fight, you still somewhat have to follow the mechanics. You can be a tough one off. You have to remember to kite them around through the different poles and um, so do where the mission mode. Um, in normal, do you still have to stand in the poles or whatever? Uh, I think the big one here is when he goes to intermission, you want to make sure you're standing in, you know, and spread out to the different circles. The bouncing bolt will keep causing ads to spawn, even when, you know, so even as we're killing them and stuff, so it's kind of, that's, that's the only thing. They can, they can get overwhelming. I don't know about normal, actually, but... I've seen normal groups wiping here still. They Five, usually they wipe one four, time, and I go, oh, three, you know, and then they'll play the three, mechanics. One. Oh, damn it! Great timing. We need to get into the thing, though, right? Or yeah, I don't kill one of the totems. Damn, when it's about. 75% full. I think you take them to the next total. I think we're gonna get intermission first. Yeah, there we go. So everybody spread around the whole Did we break it or we were just so fast? Oh, I think we deactivated the bouncing bolt. Which is good. I think we managed to kill them all. Oh, 
That was interesting. Okay, thanks everybody for coming. At least one person got a pet, no bounce dropped. Yeah, in a couple of days, I'll come up with something else to do. Thank you for doing this. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think Thank I might you. start running some siege roll grammars through next time around for some mounts. We should do this again now that we've all got the, you know, have seen it. It's really cool. Yeah, thanks, Wares. This is a fun one. Thank you. Thanks, Wares. No problem. Who's, um...